Welcome to kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I am going to show you how to build your backlink profile um, using domain names and so I know that at the surface level it sounds like a topic that is pretty simple to do hey go buy a domain name redirect it great yes you can actually go do that you can go do that with available um, domains so domains that not have not been registered before or you can also uh, do that via purchasing um, expired domain names from the different you know expiry aftermarkets and so what I'm gonna focus on is uh, basically domains that are available to the general public so not third-party uh, domain investor purchasing or expired domains and so to get into that one of the ways that I do that for kickstart commerce which I have probably over shoot 150 different domains that redirect um, to various pages and top-level pages and in-depth pages here on kickstart commerce so one way I go about doing that since the blog is about SEO and domain investing is I will go out um, onto the web so Google um, website directories for domain name news domain name blogs um, and see if they have listings of sites that they associate with so for instance I'll show you th this is domain state so they have what's called a domain directory now uh, way back in the day uh, so some 20 25 years ago when the web first started out uh, at the time of this recording anyway it's 20 25 years um, when the web first started out a lot of people would you know register their sites in these directories and so these are um, you know they would have basic listings to where you know you have like the name of the person and their website or a lot of times it would be something like uh, what's on iGoldRush here to where they have a directory and they have the name linked like this this is what you're likely after where you have the, your name and then it's linked to your website and so what I will often do is go to the site like this basically copy all of these uh, different domain names and then head over and do a bulk search to see if any of these names are available now it what would be great is if the if these names were actually linked so you're after names that look more like this that are actually linked um, you know to a given to a given site because this is what's going to help you build the backlink profile that's specific to your niche so in this case I'll just show you the example of using domain state and using all these different domains and so I already have a um, let me copy that the list of domains and then what you'll do is go over to GoDaddy and you will click the little icon there and then under domains you want to go to bulk domain search and GoDaddy will allow you to search up to 500 names you paste the names in just like that click go and then um, it will search the names and let you know which ones are available so what this means is likely is the case the dot dot blog dot com and the domain secrets dot net both of those were once someone's site and let's just say you know in instance let's just say that domain state did link out to um, you know these various sites so for instance if we go through there's the dot dot blog if it were linked then basically because this is a domain tool stats news forum and directory website that's in our given niche and in the kickstart commerce niche I would go through purchase both of those and then redirect them over to kickstartcommerce.com uh, which then uh, and like I said it's one of those things of having links that are uh, relevant to you know to your given niche so I wouldn't want to do this for like a pet sitting site but if I owned a pet sitting business I would want to do it for a pet sitting business um, so nevertheless that's that's one way of doing this now at the same time essentially when you're uh, if you're looking at a directory that's based on like this now what you may end up having to do is you may have to uh, right click um, on that given domain and then just copy the link to see where it goes um, a lot of times these will resolve to websites but then there are occasions to where 
it won't resolve to a website and then you'll just need to go check um, you know at GoDaddy put it in to see if it's available if it's available for purchase and it matches your niche I say buy it and then redirect it to a given spot or a given page and so a good example of this is so I own round rock seo.com and when I type it in it goes to a kickstart page um, and I can't remember if it goes to an exact page or if it goes to a top level page uh, but hopefully it'll load up there it is so it actually goes to the domains auction uh, page and so you know it redirects into a lower level page I uh, have the same thing with cedarpark.com and so these domains are redirected and what's good about them is I can actually measure these domains over a set period of time so I'll renew it for a year and then at the end of the year I'll go back and look in Google Analytics to see how much referral traffic I was able to refer to kickstart from that given domain um, if it's you know substantial traffic um, then I'll definitely renew it if it's not then I typically will try to park it just to see if I can get any revenue built from there um, and if I can't get any revenue from parking and I don't have plans to develop a uh, website using that domain then essentially I just let it expire or I'll try to quick flip it um, in an auction low priced auction and um, go from there but nevertheless what I want to show you uh, real quickly here is so if we were to do this um, on Google so I found the other sites in terms of like uh, the domain name news uh, the domain name news blogs and whatnot that had directory listings so if you're wanting to find a directory listing for your given niche you go to Google you could type in directory websites for pet sitting and literally begin to scroll through each of these lists now it is a bit time-consuming um, but like I said I mean if you find uh, even I would say anywhere from three to four domains that's worth it those are links that you didn't have per your niche or focused on your niche um, that you likely wouldn't have ever gained so for instance if we look at this uh, pet caretakers so if we go to the pet caretakers site then essentially they have a list with names of companies and you can see the different domains um, as I hover if you look in the lower right hand down there in that corner there you can see the domains are appearing uh, so petsitters.org um, so I basically go through open up all of these into browsers if they resolve I don't even worry about it uh, so if they go to a website and it's an actual website I don't worry about it it's when um, it says that it doesn't resolve and there's not a website that I will we'll basically mark that or put that domain name in a spreadsheet and then just as I was showing you back here I go through put the domains in the spreadsheet copy them and then do a bulk search and if they're available then I go ahead and I purchase those and then I go in and I redirect those which I have another tutorial Google Analytics tracking tutorial that uh, will show you how to go through and actually um, redirect as well as identify which domain it's redirecting from so you'll have to check that other tutorial out nevertheless this is how I, you know I typically go through and like I said it is a bit time consuming um, but it's well worth it if even if you get one to two domains out of this list those are links that like I said they're specific to your niche and you didn't have them before um, and so as long as this site this given site is it you know flagged as a spammy site then uh, you should be okay that being said you may go well how do I know whether or not a web directory is a, is a uh, spammy site um, which is a great question and so what I want to show you now is um, you can go over to Moz and go to free tools and then it'll take you to this page and you can actually enter in um, you know a domain so for instance we'll enter in petcaretakers.com so petcaretakers.com and we'll remove that space we'll hit analyze the domain 
It'll go through, it'll analyze the domain for you. It gives you what the domain authority is. You really want this number to be higher. Um, the good news about it is that it has a spam score of 0%. Uh, and so, um, you know, ultimately that I would say, hey, if you went to that site and you're in a pet niche and you found a domain that was uh, listed there, but it's available for purchase, I'd purchase it, redirect it. Um, And so, yeah, so you can use uh, this free tool, Moz. It, I actually used to pay for it premium. Um, I had a premium account with them. And um, since I no longer really focus on search marketing, uh, I, I guess you'd say as the crux of my business, now that it's domain names, I basically come here, search more along the domain authority and spam uh, scores just to be able to understand how well um, why a given domain is likely to be expired or um, available. But in this case, in this tutorial that we're talking about, uh, most of these domains are gonna be available anyway. Um, like I said, most of the directory sites like Pair, Pet Care Takers, they don't necessarily come through and update these as often as they should. Uh, and so you could actually win a couple of links. And that's how I've done, I've done that same thing for Kickstart Commerce. Now, the, the other question you may be asking is, okay, well, now that I know that a site, um, I know the domain authority, hopefully it's higher than the, the 40 um, or the 20 that we saw for pet caretakers. Uh, hopefully it's 60 and above. And it has a 0% um, percent of spam or a l less than 10%. Yeah. You may be asking, well, how do I, is there an easier way that I could go about finding these types of sites? And the answer to that is yes, by using Ahrefs, so ahrefs.com, and they have a tool called Site Explorer. And so what Site Explorer does, now obviously you'll have to start a seven day trial, uh, but showing you here, you can actually enter in a given domain and it will show you um, backlinks as well as even broken uh, backlinks um, that are basically leaving so not only internal but external excuse me links that basically link from Teespring to external sites so it is a neat little tool that you could um, use and it, they, it, it comes in, in different pricing. Obviously, it's like $99 uh, a month or, you know, it gets pretty pricey quickly. That being said, you know, if you, if you don't want to go the long way to grandma's house, if you will, in terms of doing it yourself or possibly if you didn't want to do this using Google, you could likely use like an Upwork. Uh, dot com freelancer and have them go through the process of establishing um, directory websites with listings that have linked domain names to external sources. Um, so that's one way of doing it. I wanted to show you the manual way of doing it as well as this is still the manual way, but you're actually relying on a system to actually go out and show you broken links and um, what those links are, you know, what the name, what the domain names are versus this, this, you know, you got to go through everything here and there may not even be a broken link on this page. So, you know, split, split the difference. You know, some of you feel like, Hey, it's worth it to pay $99 a month to go use Ahrefs while others say, Hey, it's not worth it. And you know, Hey, I'll spend an hour or two going through a couple of web directory sites. And so, I mean, this list goes on, you can do it for pet sitting, um, I found one for a roofing contractor, uh, same thing here, uh, and they actually show the domain name as well as link to it, and so there are so many different web directory sites that people, um, honestly, I think people have great dreams and wishes of doing website directories, but they just don't keep them updated. Um, people start new businesses, people go out of business, uh, and so, you know, there, it, for a variety of reasons, those things happen, but nevertheless, you know, why not take advantage of something that's already linked um, per your given niche and have it redirect to your website, especially if you can offer a value add service, uh, service sets of high quality and excellence uh, for customers, um, you know, to to uh, pay for and realize. So, like I said, I hope that this tutorial actually helps you out uh, and helps you get a 
a good grasp for how you can use tools like Moz, um, Ahrefs, as well as just use good old Google to find directory websites that have listings of different domain names. And hopefully you'll find a few that you're able to purchase and uh, redirect for a nominal fee. And hopefully you get business from it, uh, viable business from that. So that's it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about anything that I've discussed in this video. Uh, also, please subscribe to the YouTube Kickstart Commerce channel. Um, I drop a tutorial video every Wednesday afternoon. And uh, last but not least, please visit kickstartcommerce.com. And if you'd like to know more uh, about some of some of the things that I've discussed, uh, I have a number of topics here on Kickstart Commerce as it pertains to domain investing, the domain aftermarket, domain buying, selling, swapping, developing. Uh, I have a podcast, but um, here on the right-hand side, you can also um, please subscribe to the newsletter, and you'll receive tips as some of the tips that we discussed in, in today's uh, tutorial. You'll receive those right into your inbox. So, like I said, definitely let me know if you have questions or comments. And so until the next tutorial, that's it. Thanks. That's all for now.